Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy Super Bowl Sunday. Today I'm going to share with you my favorite beverage. This is anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, and I love it. It's such a great way of getting in a couple of spices that some of us may not love the most in such a great way. And it's really easy. I have this almost daily and I just want to share with you. So we're going to make it a hot version and ice version and then you can pick which one you like more. I just switch it up, whatever I'm kind of feeling for the day or whatever the weather might be. Um, but this is literally a drink that I've been making all the time, pretty much daily, and I love it. And it was really surprising to me because some of the ingredients are ones that I've had a harder time fitting into my diet. For example, turmeric, which I buy fresh turmeric from my local co-op. Um, it comes and looks like this, and then when you open it, it's this beautiful orange color and I'll be honest turmeric was one of those things like I made in my own capsules to eat because I was not a fan but I sneak it into this drink and it lets me get my daily turmeric in without any issues um, so if you are somebody who's struggling to get more turmeric into your diet try it out in this drink and don't be afraid I promise you that you won't be really able to taste it. The star ingredient of today is pretty much the ginger. And ginger is another thing that I really wasn't getting into my diet daily. You know, I would make it whenever I made, you know, different different recipes, but I wasn't having it daily. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I do that. Now, ginger is a very warm spice. Um, you can taste it in this, but it's not overpowering because we're putting in a couple other ingredients. So I like ginger in this. If I had to like, you know, say what was my favorite spice, it probably wouldn't be ginger or turmeric, you know, just for the fact that, that it has a little bit of heat. It's really strong, um, but I know it's so good for you and I want to include it every day. So this drink is perfect. So if you're weary of ginger or turmeric, you know, please still try this out. This is such a great recipe and I promise you, you'll, you'll love it. So how we get started is you need a blender. Um, you can use any blender. You don't have to use a high speed blender and you're going to use some, um, a nut milk and you can make your own. You can, Dr. Rear has a great, uh, almond butter, how to make your own with almond butter in his cookbook. You can do that. If you're going to buy a store-bought version, get unsweetened. Um, I just have some almond milk right here. And it's just one cup that I add to my blender. And then another ingredient that is super good for you and I try to include daily is matcha. Now matcha I get sourced from Japan. It's organic. Um, it's this beautiful green color. It's just green tea leaves that are ground down to a fine powder but it is so good for you. So matcha along with all these other ingredients or stuff that I try to get in daily, but this drink lets me like check off a bunch of things at once. So you need a tablespoon of matcha. It's gonna make it this beautiful green color and this is why I call it a matcha latte because you pretty much can see that green vibrancy. Um, for your ginger and turmeric, it's totally up to how much you wanna do. What I do is I just do a little chunk. Pretty much it's the size of like my pinky before, just like the top of your pinky. I don't know. You can play around with it. Um, it's not a tablespoon, but it's a little more than a teaspoon is what I always say, but it's just like a nice little chunk um, of ginger. I like to have some ginger in this. Same with the turmeric. The turmeric I make a little bit smaller than the ginger, not by a lot, but it's also a nice little chunk. But I would say again, it's like roughly the same size. You can play around with it and find the perfect size. I don't have a scale to weigh this out to tell you like the exact measurements, but just play around with it and if you can do you know, more or less, however you'd like to do it, but it's a nice, nice little chunk size. Because we add turmeric, I'm just gonna put a couple cracks of black pepper. You can't taste it. Um, it really covers it up, but it'll just help your body absorb that turmeric nutrients a little bit more if we add a black pepper with it. And then from the nut milk is your fat, so that'll help it add it as well. We're gonna add two pitted dates to this. This adds the sweetness to your drink. Um, if you don't have a Vitamix, you can soak your dates and then add it to whatever blender you have, or you can chop them up, 
but dates are a vital important component of this and literally that's it it's so easy and simple I make this quicker than I make coffee in the morning um, it's really really a great drink and then to make it iced you just have some ice in a glass and you're gonna pour it over I don't add my ice into my blender I like to have it poured over so what you're gonna do is blend this until smooth until all the dates and the ginger and turmeric pretty much are gone and you just see this beautiful green frothy color and then you can pour it over and then I will show you how I make a warm version because it's just there's just one more ingredient that we tweak slightly also if you're somebody who is nervous about all the spices in this recipe you might want to do the second version it's a little bit more of a tamer flavor um, but I'm gonna go blend this and then I'll show you guys pouring it over our ice and then we'll make our warm version for our anti-inflammatory antioxidant um, beverage that I just adore and have daily so I'm gonna go blend this and show you the beautiful green color it makes once everything is blended and smooth you can go ahead and add it to some ice it's this beautiful drink I just I'm obsessed with it lately nothing is super overpowering you get a little bit of the ginger but not too much the dates and nut milk really help to kind of calm everything um, I just love it so this is just a beautiful drink that I enjoy daily I'm gonna show you the warm version so this is how I do an iced this version is a little bit more um, concentrated than the second one I'm going to show you, but it's, I'll just show you. It's really, really simple. So this is the iced, which I'm going to enjoy, and I'm going to make the hot version today for my husband. Um, so all you're going to do is, in that same blender, you don't have to dirty anything else, you're going to add one cup of nut milk. The same, It's the same recipe we just did. You're going to add your ginger and turmeric. You're gonna add two dates, your matcha, and some black pepper. Really easy, same thing. The only thing different we're gonna do is we're gonna add some hot water to our blender, and that's it. The hot water is gonna help everything heat up, and you can, if you have a Vitamix, you can really let this heat up over, um, heat up on, this, on the Vitamix, or if you don't have a Vitamix and you wanna heat up, you can stir it on the stove top and whisk it and then heat it up as well. You can also do that to the iced concentrated version, but if you're somebody who's like, I don't know if I'm gonna like all the ginger and turmeric, try this, because the water helps kind of dilute this. So this is three-fourths cups of water. This also makes a larger beverage, because we're putting more liquid in it, so if you have a really big coffee cup that you wanna fill this up with. And that's it, we're just gonna blend everything to smooth. I'm gonna show you how nice and frothy it gets on top, but it's really really simple so let me go blend this up again I'll show you both drinks and then um, I'll tell you where you can get this recipe and we'll set yeah we're all set to go and I hope you guys make it because this is something I've been making every single day this recipe video it was a really quick and easy one but literally I've been having this every day and wanted to share it with you if you make it please let us know tag us in any videos that you make or pictures that you take we love seeing when you guys redo our recipes if you guys do anything different to it also let us know I like to always change up my recipes as well but I'm gonna go enjoy this um, if you are on Instagram I'm gonna be sharing what we're having in our Super Bowl party over in my stories so I will leave my handle above somewhere, but um, if you're on Instagram and you want to check that out, I'll share all of the delicious whole food plant-based foods I'm making tonight for our Super Bowl party. But I hope you guys all have a great um, last day of your weekend, and I'll see you guys real soon for the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.